there was one particular podcast where he made a statement. He actually quoted a, a, a woman who was a writer for the Village Voice in New York City. And she said, in essence, the, the most miserable people she's ever met are people who have made it big. Oh, wow. Mm. And she mentioned three in particular. And if I mentioned them, you would know their names. Okay. They are famous actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. And she said, I knew them when they were nobody. Mm -hmm. And I know them when they're somebody. And they are miserable human beings to know wow. when they're somebody. Wow. And, and then related it to this idea that we, we have a deep yearning in our, in our hearts, in our souls for significance and meaning. And we think, when we're entrepreneurs, that success of our business is what will fill that deep yearning. And then when someone is highly successful and the deep yearning is still there. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. They are highly miserable. And so part of the, that philosophical idea, I, I want to help a few people. Because I've gone through being moderately successful. And I, and I realized from experience, I had a philosophical base that said being highly successful or being moderately successful will not fulfill your deepest longings as a human being. I mean, I knew that philosophically, but I think experientially I expected yeah. business success to fill those mm -hmm. yearnings, and it doesn't. You know, it's filled by our relationship with God and others, Correct. family, kids, friends, acquaintances. So that's a big reason that I do this is because I think some of these entrepreneurs are going to be successful. Mm -hmm. And when they are, I don't want them to be miserable. Miserable, exactly. <laughs> I want, exactly. I want them to be, be satisfied human beings. <laughs> 